Um, I would like to welcome the announcement by Minister uh, Jan O'Sullivan yesterday evening um, on that the government has agreed to allocate additional resources to schools to support children with Down syndrome who are not already being supported through the NCSE annual allocation process. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm, I was delighted with the announcement yesterday as I know that many of my colleagues and myself have, have long since um, pushed and agreed that this should be in place for, for children who are failing to be provided for. Um, and these interim allocations will provide an additional two and a, two and a half hours um, per week pending the introduction of the new allocation model for children with special educational needs. Um, I hope the interim measures and the introduction of the new allocation model will provide the supports and assistance necessary and more fairly to children with Down syndrome. As I said, I, I do regret that they've had to go through so many hoops to reach this decision. I hope the new role of uh, model for education will be announced very soon. I, I, I know that it is going through the pilot scheme at the moment and I hope that it will be enforced and that clarity will be brought on even further additional hours for, uh, for children with Down syndrome. Um, Leader, I would also like to highlight the Hope Foundation's She Is campaign that was launched earlier this month. The campaign aims to fight gender discrimination and demonstrate solidarity on a global basis. Powerful women across Ireland have lent their voices to the campaign to highlight the gender imbalance in India and around the world. We have moved leaps and bounds in the last number of decades to rec rectify the gender imbalances that existed in many countries. Unfortunately, this is a task that will require our vigilance and, atten and attention for some more time to come. Countries such as India still remain a dangerous place in the 21st century. In 2012, the United Nations cited India as being the most dangerous place in the world to be born a girl. It's truly upsetting to hear that 47% of girls in India are married before they reach the age of 18. Over 75,000 people have engaged with the Hope Foundation's She Is campaign, and I would urge my Oireachtas colleagues to support the campaign and bring further awareness to the serious gender inequality in developing countries. We have an opportunity and a platform to generate a discussion and highlight these important issues. Thank you.